Never Leave Me by David McFadden. If only trees could be trained to rake their leaves and burn them. But then we'd hear arguments. That's not my leaf. I'm not raking that. That's yours. In the fall, we see in front of every house a Loch Ness monster of plastic bags stuffed with leaves. Long after all the leaves have turned to dust, these bags will look as fresh and shining as these poems will look when the author has turned a new leaf to dust himself. Rake up your own leaves, you trees. If only we could train our automobiles to find their own parking spots, or could train ourselves to take the train, our automobiles could rake up the, our automobiles then could rake up the leaves. My dreams are sexist. Politically correct gentleman seeks politically correct female companion. Must have big tits. A Jungian, Jungian situation. The less extreme you are, the more so is your dream. A sad-eyed friend says she hopped into the family holiday camper and drove to the store for milk for the children late one night, not knowing her husband, a Methodist preacher, was making out with a widow in the back, in the bed in the back. She took a shortcut potholed by chance, which added joy to the sneaky romance. In dreams, I look up the magnificent skylines of futuristic cities, skyscrapers of rose and gold, and drive futuristic cars of purple and green, which admit no exhaust. Adoring students sit close to me and plant wet kisses on the tips of my fingers while we watch him sing. On ubiquitous TV screens, ten stories high, excellent programs of immense variety, with no one haranguing you to send in money, and it's not addictive at all. In fact, the publishing industry is thriving too. Everyone seems to be hooked on books. Even poetry sells moderately well. If only we could train ourselves to rake up our own autumnal sheddings. All those churches on Christmas Eve, so many painful things from the past I'd rake up and burn, but it would be impossible to separate my leaves from yours, so many people on so little ground, and what, what right would I have to burn your leaves? What would it be like if the heavens opened, with the angels of God ascending and descending, brilliant ladders of flaming gold? But for every angel there's a devil, and we're more likely on the eve of a wonderful war. The dogs inside us are starting to bark as the world continues to fall apart on the darkling plain of a low, dishonest millennium, Christmas 1990. That is Never Leave Me by David McFadden.